So here we are, the one step from state edition to the frenzy win, and you're going to Madison lose, and the season is over. Time for the big game of the evening. McGuanago and Sussex Hamilton, great rendition of the national anthem on Veterans Day. If I said win Stang, that would be enough to describe this game. Stiff arms, two chargers on the way to bursting into the end zone, much to the light of the McGuanago faithful. The chargers with a bolt through the air. Who else? Great QB, Nate Koloff to Lucas Ruiz, but the MVP is definitely Stang. Slips one tackle, sprinting for the pylon. Great block downfield, young man. The screen and Stang is in. Stang adds a sixth. That's right, I said sixth touchdown on the night. McGuanago is Madison bound 47 to 21, the final. You know, just going into this game, knowing if we punch this ticket, obviously, we're going to stay. It's all been all of our dreams since we were little kids. So I feel like I had to do my part, go out, run my tail off, and really just send us there. He certainly did that. I was at the monster matchup, Cath Memorial and Two Rivers at Slinger. Bill Forever Young, 45 years in coaching, and he loves watching Corey Smith run behind his blockers, sprint to the left side and get in for the Crusaders. First touchdown early in this one. Then Smith makes one defender miss, then a cut and two and three, and then four defenders can't deny him the end zone. Great looking running back, and he knows it. Thanks, Corey. The standout on defense, Carl Peavy runs down Justin Klinkner to make the stop on fourth down, and Kath Memorial is rolling back to Madison, winning 20 to 14. Delaney Bry has been hustling all year. Glad to have a partner in crime like her. She's at Waukesha West for the Division II matchup between Susan Kim's Kettle Moraine Lasers and Brook Central. In the playoffs, it's always win or go home. But tonight, a win means a ticket to Camp Randall and a shot at the state championship. Let's get to the highlights between Kettle Moraine and Brookfield Central. It's a Lasers Lancers showdown at Waukesha West. Kettle Moraine waits till the last seconds of the first quarter. Chase Spellman with a lob to Nolan Shop, and here's a new one. Eight takes a dribble before he runs it in. Lasers on the board, seven zip. Now that score would take us into the half. Brookfield Central trying to light a match. Had some great defense the entire game. Brady Bloom with an interception, but the Lasers hit harder. And here's where I just let the beautiful bean footage run, folks. Whammy! 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 One score is all Kettle Moraine needed tonight. A 7 0 shutout. Lasers, I'll see you at Camp Randall. Delaney Bry, TMJ 4 News. If you're looking for a Cinderella underdog, New Berlin West is your team. We were at the Vikings send-off as they traveled to Bigfoot High School to take on the Cheesemakers in Monroe. Early on, Alex Hernandez up the middle, putting Monroe up 7-zip. It's 14-0 when Troy Blowett flips to Jack Wesolowski for the score, and it's 14-6. But this is absolutely unbelievable. Monroe goes 70 yards on two running plays in the final 20 seconds of the half. Caden Sweeney for 45 and the score. Monroe ends West season with the victory. Fond du Lac, St. Mary Springs, and Stratford, two programs with a ton of tradition going down to the wire. Cullen King passing to Lucas Ramaker to tie things up with 33 seconds to go, but in overtime, Stratford scores and the defense holds. Springs season ends 20 to 14. Mayville and Prairie Duchene wrap up our coverage. Blake Schroffnagel taken to the house from 56, but Mayville trade 21-20 at the half. The defenses took over in the second half until Schroffnagel again found the end zone from 19 yards out. The Cardinals are going to state with the 26-21 win. Coming up at